Matthew's just gone to check his lobster pot. And what did we get? An actual lobster. A nice lobster. So. It's actually a good size. Cool. Oh, a little lobster. So, it's working well. We're just leaving Corson Bay and we're heading over to Goran Haven. It should take a few hours. How many miles is it? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Not sure about miles, but about the weather. 20. So about 20 nautical miles. Um, we are, we've got nine knots of wind, so we'll get some sailing in hopefully. And the weather's still beautiful and Matthew's very, very happy because he caught his lobster, which is our dinner for tonight. So yeah. Happy. We're going to try and get some mackerel on the way. We're going to try and get mackerel on the way so that we can use it as bait and also cook with it. So, good day! Yeah. I've got all of the hooks. I've got about five. <laughs> well, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> How many mackerel do you want? I've lost a few, but I have good size. <laughs> <laughs> We're anchored in Megavassi Bay, just outside of Megavassi, just there, it's quite nice. It's uh, 10 metres deep, there's not much wind, it's still sunny. And I'm now going to prepare my mackerel for dinner tonight. Let's have a look at it. Wait, wait, before we show you this, um, there might be a bit of blood, so if you don't like that sort of thing, then look away now. Ta-da! Fishies! So I'm going to descale them and uh, fillet them. Some will be used as bait, some in my lobster pot, and uh, a lot of them for dinner. So we are officially self-sufficient. Well, I'm not sure we're quite there. We, well, we kind of we have sails. We don't need fuel, but sometimes we do need fuel when there's no wind. We have solar panels, which we tend to, well, we, we probably use a little bit more power than what they provide at the minute. But and we have fish, and we have our own. Well, we, we need a water maker, I guess, and then we're proper self sufficient. And if anyone knows about the laws of using a lobster pot in foreign countries, then I'd like to know because I know the ones for England, but in Portugal, etc., I don't know uh, what's going to be the deal with it. Why do they sound like a siren those days? Matthew's uh, getting rid of the bits that we don't need and I guarantee we're going to be swarmed by seagulls so one seagull, two seagulls or maybe not until they start calling a lot of it's sinking out of their reach look three seagulls four seagulls, it's like a bat signal's gone up like look, look at the swarming they're just they're coming from over the mountains it's actually Quite funny. Like out at sea, there you go. Away. There we go, look, another one, another one, another one. Look at this. Quite amazing. And then they're gonna do that stupid. <coughs> so there you go, seagulls fed. I'm not supposed to feed seagulls. Look, oh! What? 
you can't see this on camera but there is loads coming from over there like you might be able to see a little bit but <laughs> it's actually quite ridiculous there you go there's the call and we're surrounded and Nova's gonna get pooped all over thanks Matthew <laughs> we've been uh, experiencing a lot of flies since we've got warm weather so Matthew's uh, unleashed with the tea towel <laughs> Of them in here. And he's found where they're all hiding. But <coughs> his uh, kill total so far is well, there's quite a few in the bin that he's, he's hit with the tea towel, so he's uh, we'll follow him, check him out in the fore peak. How you doing? Another one. He's got another one. <laughs> so, yeah, he's. <laughs> He's been unleashed with the tea towel to kill the flies. I don't know where they're all coming from. It's disgusting. They're like a clean boat. Dirty flies. The catch this morning wasn't that great. We've got <clears throat> two little brown crabs, but we also have a massive eel. And I don't think you can see him there, but he's not very nice. <clears throat> I think he's gonna exit. Or he's going to get into the tender with Matthew and then that will be funny. Matthew's blocked the toilet with his food, baby. <laughs> Matthew? Yes. Do you block the toilet with a food baby? No. So it's not a very good day. The toilet's still blocked, so Matthew's fashioned a, a poop scooper from an old hose pipe and a metal coat hanger. And hopefully this will work, because otherwise, as we said, the uh, the holding tank's in here and the top pipe is right at the top here, which means that there's more than likely going to be poop everywhere if we have to undo it, so... Fingers crossed this works and we'll keep you updated. So Matthew's contraption didn't work so unfortunately we're going to have to um, release it from the top which is, as you can see when, what Matthew's doing is unscrewing the pipe that goes straight into the holding tank. So if there is anything blocked, fingers crossed it's just some paper or something that's gone gone down accidentally. Um, but with kitchen, well Matthew's sitting on bin bags and we've kitchen rolled all in there just in case it isn't um, just a little bit of toilet roll. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to stop filming just in case it explodes because, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see that. My view seems to have found the uh, blockage, which is in the pipe just at the top. So we've got that pipe out into a bucket in the bathroom, pumping out water, and that's clear. So it's just the pipe. The, is this right? At the top of yeah. the holding tank? It's this uh, 90 degree here, uh, brass fitting. I can feel it in there, it's soft, so it's toilet paper. It must have just blocked it up. So it's trying to get this to punch through it. And it's raining. Oh, not raining in a couple of days. Finally fixed the toilet. It was just blocked up toilet paper and stuff that was stuck in uh, one of the bends. I managed to pick it out with my gloves and my scissors. So we're all good, just need to clean up now. Look at this. And we can go for toilet again. This is Matthew's, it looks like an operation or something by a dodgy person, but we've got like surgical scissors, bent bits of cable, we've got the monkey wrench, that looks like alien if you do that. And yeah, so we're going to stick Matthew in a shower now because he's stinky and covered in... I think I got poo on me. <laughs> Lovely, I'm sure everyone wanted to know that. So yeah, happy day now. Jim. Nope. Never done it before, even though we've been sailing for over four years. So it's something he wants to do. So we decided to go with him. Uh, 
decided we're going to wait for him until this will make him happy. So Matthew's got some exciting news to share with everyone. It's a chilly update. Look at them. They've sprouted. <laughs> I'm getting there. It says I need to repot them, but I'm not sure because we're on the yacht, of course, if I'll have space. So I might keep them in here and see what happens. This is my first batch. Of course, when these grow, then we eat, eat them. But now I keep some of a load of the, uh, the seeds. Seeds, that's a word. <laughs> I'm having a uh, blonde moment. You leave, keep a load of seeds and grow another lot. And I'm going to have loads of them. All over Start the my boat. Chili farm. <laughs> So we've set off obviously and it is raining. Look at that. Rainy, rainy, rainy. The wind's like behind us so it's quite nice sailing. We've got uh, 14 knots of wind with us and we're doing about 5 knots through the water. Bay. I've just washed my hair quickly, that's why I've got a turban on. And Matthew's here. Ta da! He's just brushing his beard out because we're going to do the mega trim and shave his head. Well, maybe not shave it, but we're here, we're anchored. We didn't have, well, the wind kept changing, so it was a bit of a pain, but we ended up goose winging for the majority of it. Yeah, he's just pulling the fleas out at the minute, so. <laughs> Go we're gonna go over to the pub I think tonight because our fridge is obviously broken so we can't keep anything nice unless we want beans on toast so yeah that's our plans for today like a monkey ow you're an idiot <laughs> go away you're the one that's got to trim it get your scissors ready There we go. Need to sort that a bit. Matthew doesn't trust me with the scissors, so he's uh, shaving his head. We'll see what he comes out looking like. He'll be as bold as a coot. <laughs> At least you'll be cooler. Now we're at the yard. What are you doing? Go away! Go away! It works! It's like the big reveal. Matthew's uh, got his hair all short, so Ronald, mm -hmm. come show everyone your hair. He's down here. <coughs> there we go. He's kind of, oh, he looked bold actually. Well, that's it's the light. light. Yeah, let's Move around here. There we go. So Matthew's got no hair now, and uh, I've got a bit. we're going out for a meal because the fridge is broke, so all good. So we planned on staying in Corson Bay, but the weather took a turn for the worst and the swell picked up too much and we were bouncing around so we decided to change anchorage but when we got to the next anchorage that was again the same so we have ended up um, coming back to Mayflower Marina in Plymouth so yeah we're staying here for the night um, trying to fix the fridge we've worked out is I think it's still broke is it broken something to do with the vaults when the vaults go too low you can't put the fridge on so now we're back on mains the fridge is working again so we're not sure why it is but um anyway i uh i keep beating matthew's score on jetpack joyride so uh look at him trying his best to try and beat my score but every time he gets a new score i just beat it again because i'm better at him <laughs> no i'm not really but i kind of fluke it so yeah we're in here tonight get some nice showers and we'll see what tomorrow brings So we're getting to the point where we think we've fixed the fridge. I can start it off the batteries, but I need to use three of my wires, which are only 2.5mm thick, so I'm making it about 8mm thick. And 
the previous owner installed this which is a power line noise eliminator because I've got a floating earth and he's used very thin wire on it and then the, the actual wires that should be onto the fridge are that thickness which uh, so the fridge needs 15 amps to, to start it which is a lot of uh, a lot of amp to come down thin cable well it can't so we think that might be the problem I'm gonna find out if these wires will start it and we'll uh, if they do we know the problem so the fridge still isn't fixed but we had an engineer come out and he reckons it's a control unit so we're currently waiting for our dads to come to join us across Biscay so we should be leaving either tomorrow or Monday and they're bringing a control unit with them which means we can get our uh, fridge fixed and ready to go I've just had to spend a load more money getting the charts for uh, Western Europe gets us all the way to Canary Island so that should do and that's uh, the new chip for my plotter that'll keep us going for a while and then we should hopefully set off tomorrow uh, or Monday depending on weather uh, off to France and across Biscay so we're looking forward to finally uh, leaving England so the dads have set off they're on the train now on their way down so we're both really looking forward to seeing those guys and setting off to France um, we've tidied the entire boat and Matt's now using a teak oil to uh, try and get the teak to look a little bit better because nobody's an old girl so let's go and see what he's doing How's teaking going? Good. How's I hope it look? doesn't stain because I'm doing it everywhere. Oh, so lovely. I'm cheating by, I've put a spray top on. I'm spraying with it. If it stays like this, it's quite nice. Old teak. Redone teak. But I don't know how it'll dry. So, yeah, so we're not sure how it's going to dry, but... Matthew's... Cheating? Yeah, cheating by using an old antibacterial bottle. Well, screwed on to his uh, teak bottle, so yeah, we'll see. Or it might just stain a bit. It's only oil, it's going to be just oil, so. So what's the happy news, Ronald? We're off to France. So we've uh, got the dads on board. I'll show you. you There's got one. Daddy Jed there and Daddy Grog there. He's okay. cooking at the minute. And we're going to have dinner and then we're off. We've got about 18 hours if we do six knots, or 22 if we do five knots to get across to Labarac in France where we'll then have to wait for a couple of days because the weather's not so good for them crossing Biscay but we're finally off Join us next time as we leave the UK and sail across the English Channel then we take on the Bay of Biscay Thanks for joining us guys, I hope you enjoyed our video if you want to give us a thumbs up that's down there and also if you want to give us a subscribe that would be a great help that should be over here somewhere near Paige's head maybe um if you want to catch up with us in real time then we're on facebook and instagram and we've put links in the description below so hopefully we'll see you again next week bye for now bye bye